I've spent most of my life traveling the world, um, and there are very few places on the planet that I actually can just blend in and be average, and Denmark and Sweden appear to be one of them. Um, and my, for me, a win for the day was if I could get through my coffee order in the morning without anybody figuring out that, uh, that I wasn't Swedish or Danish. Yeah, I Janet Nielsen. I studied landscape architecture or Scandinavian literature or University of Oregon. Hello, I'm Jared Nielsen, and I, um, I study landscape architecture and Scandinavian literature here at the University of Oregon. I didn't have to take a foreign language in high school, but they offered Japanese for one year, which seemed a lot cooler at the time uh, than uh, than French. Uh, German or, or Spanish and uh, so the idea being that I knew that I, w I was going to go in the service anyway and Japanese seemed a little bit more relevant than the other three languages so I took a year of it and very much enjoyed it uh, ended up using it on my first duty assignment in Okinawa Japan uh, also speak some of it at home uh, with my wife of 22 years um, the Danish was self-studied, self-taught. Uh, my family comes from Denmark. My grandfather was the last that spoke Danish. He grew up with it, and uh, he refused to teach his children Danish because we we're Americans, and by God, we're going to speak American. And he, uh, and so it, the, the, it basically it died with him. Um, I took an interest in it young, um, and we and he humored me a little bit. Um, but uh, he passed away when I was a teenager, and it's been you know me studying it, and that also allows me to study some of my family genealogy and digging through old texts and you know reading you know what is really uh, an older version of Danish, um, which is <laughs> which is a, a language in and of itself. Nordic languages, the Norwegian, Swedish, and um, Danish, all have a lot of they're, they're grammatically in common. Um, they, they all have, a, they, they basically, they can communicate with one another, um, even though the language, there's slight variances in the language. And I found myself, um, I'd be in Denmark speaking, saying something that I thought was Danish and it was actually Swedish. Um, and then I would get corrected. Oh yeah, that's not the word that we use. Uh, here, how about we talk in English? My experience here is this one of my favorite classes uh, it's absolute this whole last year was an absolute pleasure uh, to go to Swedish class in the morning um, yeah, there are 14 students in the class and so there's plenty of, of uh, I don't necessarily have to go take an office hours to figure out where I stand it's everybody's you know pretty much uh, you know, has the same amount of, of uh, exposure and gets their questions answered so I have nothing but praise uh, for, the, for this particular program. I can't speak to other language programs here at the U of O because I haven't involved in them. Um, but I just couldn't see myself sitting in a class of 150 people trying to learn Spanish. Um, it just, that to me, just that seems to defeat the purpose. A lot of the really big things going on in architecture are coming out of Scandinavia. Um, BIG Architecture, Bjorn Ingels is the current you know, soup du jour uh, in the architecture world um, who's taken on the, the old guard of the Arne Jakobsens and the, um, uh, and the uh, Gunnar Osplens of Sweden um, you know, from, the, from early in the last century. So right now there's, architecture is a big deal. It always has been a big deal in Scandinavia. So being able to combine the two um, you know, while, while it seemingly it, they seem completely unrelated, um, interestingly enough, they, 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 they tend to be. Because in Scandinavia, architecture is, is, is very much embedded in the culture. Uh, so taking a Scandinavian culture class, you know, or minor, with an architecture major, um, and focusing on what's coming, going on and coming out of Scandinavia, absolutely makes sense. Um, and then being able to speak the language uh, during my my study tour, um, my final presentation was in front of four Danish working architects. 
So being able to get up and introduce myself in their own language already breaks the ice and you know creates a, an already a, almost an equal footing. Mm -hmm.